Are you still looking for Christmas present ideas for your photography or videography mad loved ones? Do you feel like you're running out of time and you don't know what to get? Well, I've got five quick and easy purchasable items just for you. Hi YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is James and I'm a sports and fitness content creator from the United Kingdom. And today I hope to give you five quick and easy gift ideas for you to buy your photography or videography loved ones. These are gonna be items that I either use myself or have purchased myself this year and I find really useful. Any of the items that are in this video, I'll leave the links in the description below for you to purchase yourselves. So without further ado, I'm gonna grab my stocking and let's crack on with the first item. So the first item is gonna be one of these. It's an Odaland Pebble. And what it is basically is a camera remote. It sticks on top of your camera into your hot shoe and basically you can either use it to take selfies whilst you're out and I've got pictures like this or you can just plug it onto your hot shoe and use it as a camera remote of which you can use for long exposure shots etc without getting the wobble on your tripods. It comes with one of these very discreet remotes which fits easily into your hands and if you are doing a selfie then you can't even notice it. So I've used this before, it's very useful. I'd like to use it some more and actually I think I'll do a future video on one of these. Now at around about 35 pounds, it's uh, pretty decent. And again, I've linked all the item descriptions and links below and you need to be really careful when you buy one of these uh, that you buy it for the right camera brand. So there's five links down there for your brand specific Odalan pebble. Last thing with this thing is that it comes with a cable that then you attach into your camera from the uh, receiver into your camera. But overall, quality item, highly recommend. All right, let's move on to item number two. Oh, it's not easy to get out. Okay, so item number two is a cleaning brush and a air blower. Now these items are pivotal to keeping your equipment clean, specifically your camera and your lenses. I use these pretty much all the time, whether that's going on photo shoots or just at home and I'm thinking, right, I've got to shoot or I want to go out and take some photos, but my camera is dirty as. I suppose one of the worst things you could do turning up to a photo shoot is turning up and having a dirty camera, it might just look to clients that you just don't even look after your equipment, so you're not gonna look after them. So really important to have some of these. Even me, I wanna upgrade my little blower in the future, and because I use my brush actually quite a lot, I might need to actually buy a new one because I've pretty much worn the pad out. But yeah, absolutely pivotal. Uh, the brush comes with a uh, foldable soft brush on one end and then in the other end it comes with a hard brush which I'll show you closer up uh, and it swaps around one circular and one's triangular based on what you're trying to clean on your camera or lens. The blower is very very straightforward to use and I use this for mainly cleaning my sensor and also blowing out any air off the top of my lenses, etc. Get one of these. All right, let's go for number three, item number three. Uh -huh. <laughs> item number three, sensor cleaning kits. Now again, with the item descriptions or the item links, uh, you need to buy them specific to the sensor on your camera. Uh, this one here is a full frame uh, cleaning swab or cleaning kit comes in a box like this not sponsored but UES these are awesome so if you want to sponsor me you can but yeah make sure you buy the cleaning kit specific to your camera whether it is APS-C or whether it is full frame or whether it's micro four thirds just make sure you get the right kit this specific kit comes with 
14 of these little swabs and it comes with one like one sensor cleaning solution thing whatever they're called why why would i recommend one of these or one of these cleaning kits well there's nothing worse than a photographer getting to an edit and finding that they've got dust spots all over their pictures so one of these kits cleans the sensor gets rid of any uh, dust on the sensor and make sure it's nice and clean for shoots and making it extra hassle free for you guys when you are editing. Also, it just gives you that peace of mind that your kit is clean, just like the air blower and the cleaning brush. It's just that extra mile that you can go to make sure your kit is nice and clean before a shoot or just when you're out taking photographs. All right, last two items. Now I'm gonna go for number four now. Let's see if I can find it, it's getting empty. I've got this weird little sheet. And item number four is SD cards. Now what I've done below for SD cards is I've linked a smaller memory card, which is gonna be a lot cheaper. Uh, it's gonna be around 64 gigabytes, which is very ideal for any photographer really. If I received a 64 gigabyte memory card, I'd probably be quite happy. It should store over, over a thousand photographs, definitely. But it depends on your type of camera and what kind of settings you're shooting on. But you should get a lot of value out of a 64 gigabyte memory card. I've also linked a 128 gigabyte memory card, and I've also linked one of these beasts, which I've already held up. But it's a very video specific SD card, and it's going to be able to shoot 4K at the highest 10 bit resolution. But it costs a lot, and being a videographer is pretty important. <laughs> so that's where all my money goes. Anyway, SD cards, make sure that you're buying an SD card with at least it being class 10, has a rating of U3, and is also V30 or above. Now most cameras these days also will shoot at quite a high resolution, so make sure that your card is able to read and write, specifically writing, something around 150 megabytes per second. So SD cards are always needed by photographers and videographers, so I'd highly recommend if you were gonna please one of your loved ones, get them an SD card because they are pivotal. All right, moving on to the last item, and it unfortunately can't fit into the stocking, so I'm just gonna go grab it now. Item number five, it is the Tarion travel camera bag. What an awesome product this has been. I bought it about two, three months ago, and I don't think I've stopped using it since. I've taken it abroad with me. I've taken it on literally every single shoot I've been on. What an amazing camera bag. And look, it even stands up by itself, even with a load of kit inside of it. So I would highly recommend this bag to anyone that wants something nice, light, waterproof, carries all of your kit, it's got an extra little pouch up top for you to carry some extra clothes, etc. And also, one of my favourite features on this is that on the back it has a unzippable, unzippable laptop bag. Now, I want to do a full review on this bag just because of how good it is, and I want to be able to feature a lot more eye specific bits about it. So, if you want to stick around on this channel to see me review that bag or this bag, that bag, this bag, and make sure you hit the subscribe button to see that review in the future. Uh, what else has it got on it? It's got a drinks holder or a tripod holder here, and also it has, if I turn this around, a side pocket on it as well. So if you are traveling abroad or around and you feel like you're a little bit unsafe, and you don't want your camera out all the time, you can get your camera just out of the side and shoot away and put it away again without that danger of someone just taking that camera out of your hands. So all round, a fantastic camera, as I said, perfect for traveling, but also for other aspects of photography and videography too. <sighs> That's that item out of the way with. So there we have it, five, photography and videography based items for you to buy today and receive tomorrow because all these items are on Amazon and if you've got Prime you'll get the day after so you've got plenty of time to get these products before Christmas. Anyway I don't know how I've survived this long in the video without taking this hat off. One because it's itchy 
and two because my <laughs> with this light here it is so hot so i'm gonna leave it off for the rest of the video anyway so if you've enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a like leave a comment down below if you think you've got any other specific items that you think would be ideal for Christmas, leave them in the comments below because I'm sure someone will be looking through the comments to see what else there is that they could buy. And again, all the links for the items that I have listed and gone through in this video can be found down below. Well, until the next video, and hopefully I'll be releasing another video before Christmas, but if I don't, have a great Christmas and Happy New Year. See you in the next one.